Welcome, dear viewers, to a journey into the abyssal depths of our oceans. Here sunlight fades to an eternal midnight and pressure becomes a crushing force. The deep sea, shrouded in perpetual darkness, is a realm of extremes. It's a world where survival hinges on adaptation to crushing pressure, frigid temperatures and a perpetual lack of sunlight. Yet, against all odds, life thrives here. Many possess bioluminescent abilities, their bodies adorned with glowing lures and flashing patterns, a mesmerizing spectacle in the otherwise pitch-black depths. Some creatures, like the fearsome anglerfish, dangle glowing lures in front of their toothy maws, enticing unsuspecting victims. Others, like the hatchetfish, utilize bioluminescence for counter-illumination masking their silhouettes against the faint light filtering from the surface. Imagine a chasm so deep that if you were to place Mount Everest at its bottom, the peak would still be submerged by over a mile of water. This is the Mariana Trench, a crescent-shaped scar in the western Pacific Ocean plunging nearly seven miles beneath the waves. This desolate and alien landscape, perpetually shrouded in darkness and subjected to pressures over 1,000 times that at sea level, is Earth's final frontier. Then in 1960, the Bathyscaphe Trieste, carrying Jacques Picard and Don Walsh, made the first and only manned descent to the bottom of the Challenger Deep, the trench's deepest point. Despite the extreme conditions, life, albeit sparse, existed. Since that historic dive, unmanned submersibles have explored the trench, revealing more of its secrets. For centuries, tales of monstrous sea creatures with enormous tentacles capable of dragging ships and their crews to watery graves have haunted our imaginations. While the Kraken may be a myth, the giant squid Architeuthis dux is very real. This elusive creature with eyes the size of dinner plates and tentacles that can stretch over 40 feet long is the stuff of nightmares. Then in 2004, a team of Japanese scientists led by Dr. Tsunemi Kubodera achieved a breakthrough. They managed to capture the first ever images of a live giant squid in its natural habitat off the coast of Japan. Since then, there have been more sightings, more footage captured, each encounter adding to our understanding of this remarkable creature. Imagine a creature so perfectly adapted to the darkness of the deep sea that it has evolved its own fishing rod complete with a bioluminescent lure. This is the anglerfish, a master of deception and one of the most bizarre and fascinating creatures found in the abyss. There are over 200 species of anglerfish, varying in size and appearance, but all share a common trait. The females sport a modified dorsal fin ray that protrudes from their heads like a fishing rod tipped with a bioluminescent lure, or esca. This glowing lure, filled with bioluminescent bacteria, acts as an irresistible beacon in the pitch-black depths, attracting unsuspecting prey. As the prey approaches, the anglerfish, with its cavernous mouth and needle-sharp teeth, strikes with lightning speed. In the deep sea, finding a mate can be a challenging endeavor, so the male anglerfish has evolved a unique and somewhat disturbing mating strategy. In the murky depths, where sunlight struggles to penetrate, swims a creature so bizarre, so seemingly prehistoric, that it has earned the moniker Goblin Shark. This elusive creature, Mitsukurina ostoni, is a living fossil, a relic of a bygone era when dinosaurs roamed the earth. The goblin shark's most striking feature is its elongated, flattened snout or rostrum which resembles a blade protruding from its face. This rostrum is not a weapon but a sensory organ covered in ampullae of Lorenzini, specialized pores that allow the shark to detect the faint electrical fields generated by prey hidden in the sediment. When the goblin shark senses prey, it can launch its jaws forward with incredible speed, snapping up its victim in a fraction of a second. Despite its fearsome appearance, the goblin shark is not considered a threat to humans. Imagine a creature that seems to have slithered straight out of prehistoric times. A creature with a serpentine body and a mouthful of needle-sharp teeth evoking images of primeval sea serpents. This is the frilled shark, Chlamydocelacus anguineus, a creature so ancient that it predates most dinosaurs. The frilled shark's most distinctive feature is its elongated, eel-like body, a stark contrast to the torpedo-shaped bodies of most sharks. 
This serpentine form allows it to navigate the tight spaces and crevices of its deep sea habitat with ease, ambushing prey that strays too close. Adding to its prehistoric appearance are its six pairs of gill slits, which are frilled and extend across its throat, giving the shark its name. The frilled shark is a creature of mystery, rarely observed in its natural habitat. In the inky blackness of the deep sea, where survival often depends on deception, the vampire squid, Vampyrotuthis infernalis, reigns supreme as a master of disguise and illusion. This creature, with its velvety black cloak, bioluminescent displays and eerie, glowing eyes, is a spectacle to behold. The vampire squid is not a true squid, but the last surviving member of its own order, Vampyromorphida, a lineage as ancient as the dinosaurs. Unlike true squid, the vampire squid lacks ink sacs. Instead, when threatened, it uses bioluminescence to its advantage, ejecting a sticky cloud of bioluminescent mucus from the tips of its arms, creating a dazzling distraction. The vampire squid can also turn its webbed arms outward, enveloping its body in a protective cloak, resembling a spiky, bioluminescent pineapple. In the frigid waters of the Southern Ocean, a creature of immense size and power reigns supreme the colossal squid, Mesonychotuthis hamiltoni. This deep sea behemoth, even larger than the giant squid, is the stuff of nightmares with eyes the size of basketballs and a beak capable of crushing bone. The colossal squid is a true giant, with estimates suggesting it can reach lengths of up to 46 feet, making it the largest invertebrate on Earth. Unlike the giant squid, which has suction cups lined with small teeth-like structures, the colossal squid's arms and tentacles are armed with sharp rotating hooks. These hooks, combined with its powerful beak, make the colossal squid a formidable predator, capable of taking on prey much larger than itself. The colossal squid is a creature of the deep, rarely observed in its natural habitat. In the depths of the ocean, where sunlight fades to an eternal night, swims a creature that seems to embody the fiery depths themselves, the dragonfish. These deep sea predators with their elongated bodies, razor sharp teeth and bioluminescent lures are a testament to the extraordinary adaptations found in the abyss. There are over 150 species of dragonfish, each with its own unique set of characteristics. Some, like this scaleless black dragonfish, are jet black, their bodies absorbing almost all light, making them nearly invisible in the darkness. But perhaps the most fascinating adaptation of the dragonfish is their bioluminescence. Some species of dragonfish have evolved red bioluminescence, a rarity in the deep sea where most bioluminescence is blue or green. For centuries, the vast unexplored depths of our oceans have been a breeding ground for myths and legends, tales of monstrous creatures lurking in the abyss. One such legendary creature is the kraken, a monstrous sea creature of gigantic proportions said to dwell off the coasts of Norway and Greenland. Stories of the Kraken describe a creature with enormous tentacles, capable of dragging ships and their crews to watery graves. While the Kraken is most likely a mythical beast, its legend likely stemmed from sightings of giant squid, which can grow to enormous sizes. Another legendary sea monster is the Luska, a creature said to inhabit the blue holes of the Bahamas, while these creatures may be the stuff of legends, they serve as a reminder of the vastness and mystery of our oceans. From the bioluminescent displays of the vampire squid to the bone-crushing beak of the colossal squid, the deep sea is a realm of wonder and terror. Subscribe to our channel and join us as we delve deeper into the mysteries of the natural world, exploring the most remote and extreme environments on our planet.